She came forward because Lindsay published a statement about the sexual harassment she experienced. And Charlotte went on Twitter and said, if you want to know what it's like to work for the governor, read this story. And journalists followed up and found her, and she determined at that time that she had a responsibility to come forward, largely because the governor tried to uh, discredit Lindsay. And Charlotte knew that he engages in this kind of behavior. He engaged in sexually harassing behavior with her, and she knew that this was a pattern, and she was not willing to stay silent any longer. This seems to be part of his uh, routine, is to act like he needs assistance with the most mundane uh, tasks, for example, servicing his iPhone. Neither this latest victim nor Charlotte were responsible for the governor's phones, and yet he got them in a situation, asked for assistance with the phones, and used that as an opportunity to isolate them and to sexually harass them. And that's what's eerily similar. She's not surprised, and she's, she's very upset that Cuomo's top officials, his chief of staff and special counsel, to whom she reported her allegations, never investigated. And had they investigated Charlotte's allegations, perhaps this latest victim would not have been assaulted. I think his chief of staff and his special counsel have significant explaining to do. They have stated publicly that they followed the law, but the law is crystal clear that even if a complainant comes forward and says, I do not want to pursue my complaint, they have a legal obligation to follow it, the law and ensure that an investigation is done and that there is appropriate remedial action. They cannot simply duck behind the fact that Charlotte said, I am too scared for you to, com to do an investigation. I am confident that the investigation will confirm that he has subjected other women to this kind of behavior. And the governor himself doesn't see anything wrong with it. He continues to say his behavior was fine. And presumably, he thinks that doing this to women is just fine. So I'm confident we're going to hear from more women and that the investigators will confirm that this is a significant pattern.